All right. So, um, I, I'm considering taking all of this stuff back and, and, and anviling it together. We've got 20 levels. Although that'd probably be more than 20 levels worth of combining. Um, so, hmm. Something I mentioned last episode. Possibility of actually making a circuit around this entire area. The entirety of Windchill. And I think that might actually be worth doing. Simply because I'm not entirely sure what all is out in this area. You know? Like with with Boreal Valley, that's that just seemed to be a connective uh area. But this is this is like I don't know, there, there's there's lots of points of interest here, it seems, and I feel like Making a circuit around the entire perimeter would be a good way of making sure we don't miss anything. Which... I feel like we could have easily missed that house thingy down there with the gold. And then subsequently the, the tunnel that we were just in. If we hadn't been wandering around that way a little bit lost... So I think that that might be something we do with the rest of this episode. I mean, obviously, we're going to have to explore that ma maze place at some point, but maybe not just yet. It is seeming less difficult than what's over there, so that's probably where we're going to start. Once we start, like, properly taking on the entirety of Windchill. But, for now at least, I'd like to find out what all we have left to do there. Because, like, I don't feel like there's anything in Windchill that we've missed. Like, the only thing I can think of that you could consider as part of this area would be that witch's hut, but there wasn't even really any loot there. There was just information, which is, you know, valuable, but I don't feel like this place is going to have anything other than that. And I, I don't know, you could, you could argue that it's not even part of Windchill anyway, so I, I don't know. On top of that, we're going to need more supplies if we're going to be going into any new areas that are going to require torches. And, um, this venison jerky is going to not last too terribly much longer. Too terribly much longer? Too much longer. Too... It's it's not going to last much longer, It is, is all. Uh, I think, um, we should get maybe some potatoes got wheat we have carrots and gold could do a bit of that oh I just remembered there is one other thing we could potentially do before going back that is read Tolly's final book oh we didn't put that in yet um this is five pages. Hmm. Might save that for next episode, actually. Um, how much, how much is this going to... Ugh. Okay, well, that's, that's a thing. How about this? Well, I mean, that's better. Feather falling two. Uh... What about, it's also 12. I mean, it's probably worth it, right? Is it? I thought Depth Strider had another level. Hang on a second. 
I know Frostwalker doesn't. But I thought... Huh. Okay. Um, and, the, and then the pants are going to be less expensive? Really? Oh, they're not combining. Interesting. I wonder why not. Might be because they're... Uh, cheated on the 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 com combination of different types of oops that's not what I wanted to do uh shoot okay well th there's that I guess that was a waste um what was I saying oh the com combination of different protections on the same piece is um a, a cheaty thing you're not supposed to be able to do that that is that is from commands and command block type things where that comes from um suppose we do still have these 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 aren't one armor two armor one armor yeah they're not special in that way but this this in particular i think we should take to uh get a little bit of well just to be able to go looking under the water a little bit better we're gonna be able to do this Four, three. These are getting kind of beat up, so let's do that. I might hold off on that purely because it is going to repair it fully, and that's not expensive to do. Really wish we hadn't gotten thorns on that. I had forgotten that that actually takes away um, durability. How much was this? Eight. Eight. Hmm. Everything else has unbreaking too, except this. Um, we'll hold off for now. I think we, we are just going to go exploring. Mm. Well, before we do anything, let's go put this onto the, uh, the ship. Find out how many more we have to go because I don't actually remember. I don't remember what we're up to or what what we have left to do. So let's find out. Five need eight, so three more. Ooh, oh, there's a sign. I can't read that. If I turn like this... Go all blacks? Go all blocks? I think that's blacks. Go all blocks. What? What does that mean? Is that a... I have no idea. Interesting. I was not expecting a sign to be in there. Hmm. I am wondering if we're going to have to do something to actually launch that at the end. Something like get fuel or... I don't know. Let me in. I just, I, I, it, it seems odd that, that this map would be only eight 
bowls when most most of Vax's maps are all 16. So I don't know. Still wondering why we got diamond horse armor. Are we going to see a horse at any point? Because I kind of doubt it. Oh, pumpkin pie requires eggs. Well, that's something we haven't done yet. Where did the eggs go? We had gotten eggs from over yonder here. Let's see. We really only need one. Where can we put these where they're not going to wander off and get themselves killed? I suppose I could put up a fence. Do we have any fence? Let's just do a bit of this. Um, how about that? And then I'll just link. Uh, let me clear out these trees real quick. Okay. Let's see. Here we go. Nope, no chickens. All 16 eggs, no chickens. Okay, well, I guess that's off the table. Bit of a bummer, but I think we'll make do without. Yeah, we can, we can manage. Um... Let me see. Oops. How many carrots is the wrong chest? Uh, it. I don't remember the recipe. Is it? Is it fully surrounded? No. Is it this way? No. Is it? Is it golden nuggets? Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. Let's do a bit of that. Um, 18 golden carrots. That should be decent enough number. We do have access to a pretty significant amount of gold still, so... We also have the golden apples. I forgot about the golden apples. Huh. Yeah. You know, I just, I just, I just had a thought just now. Cookies. Cookies are interesting because I think it's just... I think it's literally just sugar and cocoa beans in some configuration. I think. Oh, it's wheat and cocoa beans. Is it really not sugar? Okay. Interesting. Either way, it's relatively cheap, and the thing with cookies, right? Cookies allow you to do something funky. They allow you to eat them very quickly and still get the saturation, which 
you're in the middle of combat is, you know, actually pretty valuable, I think. At least I'm, I'm reasonably certain that's a thing that you can do with cookies. You know what? I'm not going to wait for potatoes. I think we've got enough. Let's go ahead and head back. You know, there might actually be an argument to be made for going and taking a look over there in, in Boreal Valley as well. I don't think we ever did that, did we? Yeah, see, see, the big thing with, with here, as opposed to Boreal Valley, is the altitude fog. We can't hardly see anywhere near as far as we can in the Boreal Valley. So I, I'm constantly feeling like we're missing stuff out there. So we'll go ahead down the end here. I think, I think we'll go ahead and take this and you use it to skip the night so that we can keep going and not have to worry about the cold or anything and just scout it out uh, i'm also going to take the boat so yeah we'll head down down to here work our way clockwise see what we can find Alright, here we are at the edge of this ice sheet on this end. Uh, go ahead and do this. And carry on. There's the, uh, the rail line down there. You can really see the effect of the altitude fog and see how much we kind of can't see. So, here we go. Hmm. You know, as eerie and kind of creepy as this area can be, especially at night, it's also remarkably peaceful. Just walking along with the snow and the wind. Dynamic Surroundings is um, Doing an awful lot of work to make this quite a bit nicer than it would be in vanilla, I think. Especially in terms of the sound. You know what? Let's walk with the UI off. Just make it a little more scenic. Already. 
already already at the water. Okay. Anything here? Nothing. I do think we mostly explored this area. Was that because of a cave system back further, or was that... Oops. No, I'm feeling like that was just because this is an overhang. That cave sound. I'm not entirely sure what the rules are for when those sounds can play. Should we be taking a look underwater as we go? We could. Woof. Holy cow. That's a view. Dang. Let's just out for a second, see below, see nothing. Is this going to let us see further into the glacier easier? Night vision. Uh, not really. I think we will want to try and excavate those ships at some point though. See if there's any kind of cave system back there. I suspect it's just the ships, but, like, that spot right there makes me feel like there's gonna be something back there. What is, what is making that noise? I don't see anywhere where there's flowing water. Weird. Okay. There's that ship down there. Um, you know, we might actually take a look at that now. We did bring these. Although on second thought, it's kind of cold. Let's, let's see, how cold are we getting here? Eh, it's not too bad. Interesting there. See the uh, like blob of ice sticking out. I guess it's one of these pyramid looking shapes. Another ship? Or is that the same ship? Oh, that's the same ship. Okay. And then there's those areas there. Interesting that the, uh, oh, there's another ship underwater there. Okay. Interesting that where the ships are embedded in the glacier, it's clearly regular ice and not packed ice. Another ship over there. No. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, all right. Well, uh, there goes that. I'm not going diving after it. Is that another ship down there? One of the little boats, maybe? Looks like it might be. Is that, is that ours?
No, I don't think so. Maybe it's fallen off the ship, maybe. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to explore these more thoroughly. Not seeing anything else under the water. Yeah, that right there looks an awful lot like that, the cave. Uh, that, it might just be the hull of the ship, though. It's hard to tell. That lighter block, is that act ice? Random act ice? Singular? Weird. Oh, this is actively freezing. Interesting. Oh. This ice has not been placed. Vex didn't place this. He just placed the packed ice and then the water. But this has all been outside of... Uh... Not spawn range. Outside of load distance, so it hasn't frozen over. That's interesting. So this... Oh, this whole lake might actually end up freezing over time. Interesting. Huh. I didn't even think about that, but that's definitely what's happening. You can see it happening. Other than the ships, it doesn't seem like there's anything particularly interesting out here. Just the ships and being stuck in the glacier. Oh, is that? Is that? Yeah, I think that's, um, dusk. The orange there. Oh, this is this is regular ice. We can't put it down. Um, crying out loud, that's exactly what I didn't want. Ugh, the shield just broke. Uh, that's. What? It didn't release. Um. Okay. Uh, that's not a problem I anticipated running into. Huh. Mm hmm. M maybe we don't have anything on us to make another one. That one just spawned. Nope. Oh, there's another one there. Took a little too long going to sleep there, I think. I think we can happily juke them, though. And there's the night vision wearing off. Okay, we need to get up there. Um, what's going to be the easiest way to do that? I guess just go up over here. Um, 
real quick this tower did we leave any arrows here because we are starting to get a little low on arrows all together I think we have about a stack left oh no we took chests we did just loot them we took them okay so it's yeah there's no arrows left here okay that's that's fine I guess I mean, it's not really fine, but I'm gonna just have to manage. We go over here. That's interesting. It kind of cuts off like there's... Huh. Weird. if there's anything up there but I hope not that would be a pain in the butt to get up to yeah, probably nothing probably okay here's the wall of the castle the southernmost wall of the castle Ooh, what is that? That's odd. Hmm. Okay. I guess that's just that. And this is a turret. I'm slightly tempted to try and go over this, but I feel like there's probably going to be some kind of protection against that kind of thing. Here's the gatehouse. Let's take a little gander inside, shall we? Ooh. That was an iron chest plate. I will take that for sure because ours is. Oh, well. Technically, an iron chest plate. Being held together by, um, soggy masking tape, basically. But it might help repair this a little bit, which is be nice. That is a pretty good indication of what we're going to be up against inside here, though. Iron... Iron skeletons. For sure.
I find it interesting that these walls aren't made of stone. Like, this is all acacia wood. Wonder why. Can't imagine trying to assault this, like as an invading army, this castle up on a glacier's cliff. No thanks. We might head down and take a circuit of the perimeter down there as well, while we're at it. Oh, and there's that. And over here... Just around the corner here... It's where we can get through the wall for some reason. Now that's interesting. This tower seems to be freestanding. I didn't notice this the first time. Huh. Looks like the same type of tower as we've taken and Taking the spawner down way out that way. Now that's that's potentially actually a good sign because if that means that it's the same thing exactly, then that will have arrows in it. Chests full of arrows. But this right here slightly baffles me. Why would you have all that that long length of wall? And then leave this out on the outside. I don't understand this. It seems very, very odd to me. Let me sleep. So, question. Should we consider this to be where we start to head back over towards the rail line? Should we take a little bit more of a gander inside? Because we know what's in that. Or at least the spawner. We can avoid that. Maybe just kind of take a along this perimeter oh interesting this is grass this is um half blocks I wonder if that's an indication of different types of crops being grown another hour Another tower. Odd that these towers are freestanding, like separate from the walls, a and then the walls have turrets themselves. I wonder if one or the other is a later addition. Ooh. That looks important. Got houses. We're not here to fight, but those spawners are gonna, gonna make us. What is that structure? 
I'm not sure what it's meant to be. Hard to say when most of it's hidden in the fog. Uh, more houses and wells. They've got a lot of wells. Seems a little bit overkill, but okay. Random stray ice block. Seems a little weird. Um, okay. This is just... Huh. I'm to just try and skirt this a little on this side, just to see. The houses that we've seen so far, down towards the docks, they didn't have any spawners or anything in them, so I don't feel particularly threatened by them. The other structures, however, yeah, a little bit. I mean, that one had a spawner right there, so... Certainly there's something going on there. Let's see. Is this just a larger house? Or is this something special? Oh. Interesting. Oh, is this a blacksmith? Yeah, that's a blacksmith. Probably something interesting in there really don't know what that structure is meant to be. It's like all up on columns, but then there's like a house up there or something. Weird. Not noticing anything towards the perimeter, but trees and ice. Which is encouraging because hopefully that oh okay hi yeah i don't want i don't want any piece of that no thanks um this might be as far as we can go without fighting stuff um can't really see through the trees can we maybe get a little the blacksmith again Got something large here. I can't tell. It's a zombie horse. Which is an odd choice. Seeing as most everything here is skeletons. That might be kind of market space. feeling like I hear something coming up behind us, but there's nothing. Let's, let's just take a gander down this way, see how close we can get to where those riders were. More houses, their tower. So I guess all of this is outside of the castle, which is odd. Was this... No, this isn't another gatehouse. Two turrets look like it might be, but it's not. There's the, there's the other gatehouse. Knew there had to be one back here somewhere. Just because of... The layout of what we've seen so far. Kinda would have to... Here's this rise here. Where the terrain just... 
bumps up a little bit. Look like a crane. I wonder how wide these walls are. I can't quite tell from what we've seen so far. Uh, another one of these log crane things. This is an interesting building. Alright, I think that's as far as we can get. I don't want to head in that direction any further because having seen those riders, I think it's going to be dangerous and we are explicitly not fighting stuff. This is just a spear scout mission. To get too close to the gate, just in case something sees us. Is that is that a little postern door there on the left? That might be interesting. I didn't notice that on the other gatehouse, the other side. So we haven't quite scouted the entire western edge of the glacier, but we have made a full circuit of the castle. I wonder if that wall at that end keeps going into the glacier. Hard to say, but that might be something we'll have to deal with later. Not entirely sure where those riders were. I think they were further that way, but... It is kind of hard to tell with all the snow. What time is it? Ooh, it's about that time. I think we should be able to get out past the fields. Hmm, maybe not. Or not risk it. the zombie there to the left. One of the ice-headed ones. I wish I knew what, what they were actually called. They don't have names. Most everything else here that I've, I've noticed has a name above it. As though it's been named with a name tag. But those don't seem to. Unless I'm either just forgetting or haven't noticed. That's the entirety of the area, well, not quite the entirety, but the majority of the area behind the castle. It does still seem to suggest that the castle is going to be the last stop. Because the, the difficulty of the mobs in there definitely ramps up. As opposed to anywhere else, except maybe those riders. Uh, it seemed to me that they were just skeletons that were riding zombified horses, which is not all all that much more threatening than everything else. It would just be fast and, and eventually, you know, difficult to deal with because of the speed. Not necessarily a lot of damage, although I don't know. We'll have to find out at some point. I am feeling like that red maze area. Like, cause, cause the thing is, I'm trying to gauge where to go next, 
by how difficult areas seem to be. With the idea being the hardest area should go last. Because we will have had time to build up lots of loot and stuff. Get our gear, you know, improved significantly by the time we hit the uh, most difficult areas. So, that's kind of my thinking. But I'm just, I'm not sure which areas are actually going to be more difficult. Got castle all the way along this whole ridge line up here, guarding the area. And anyone trying to head up from down here like this, this is just suicide. This is not the direction you would want to go to assault this castle. Honestly. You'd probably want to head in the front door, more or less. I think. Although, I guess, I guess over here you could try and get around, but because it's so steep, that would be difficult. Don't know. Well, that about concludes our tour our circuit of almost the entirety of Windchill. There's just that one area in the back corner there that is not really explored, but I don't know that there's going to be much past the housing, you know? So, I don't know. But yeah, I think that's probably actually going to do it for this episode. We have a good idea of where where things are, what's out there. The only things that are currently a mystery are, is there a cave system back in the glacier where the ships are? Is that is that an area where we're going to need to be exploring? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Um what's going on inside the castle that that seems pretty pretty clearly to be difficult in there the the skeletons are all full ar iron armored shielded and seem like they're going to be pretty dangerous And then the only other mystery, really, is that red maze area. That that area is really kind of throwing me, because it seems very out of place, right? Because everything, everything else here has seemed like it has fit very well into the lore of the area. You've got the really ancient ruins with the melting dead. That is just, like, practically a pile of stones at this point. You've got Boreal Valley, which is just a, you know, go-between area. You've got the, the, the geothermal, which they, they were using with the Magitech generator thingy, or harvester, or whatever it's called. Then you have the miners area, with central station servicing the miners cavern where the miners were actually living, and then Digus Load Mine, which was the actual mine where they were pulling iron and I think gold out of that.
And then you have this area, which you've got the researchers housing here near the actual station, like this and this, and the, the greenhouse domes that are clearly servicing them. And then you've got the castle feudal age stuff with the castle and the housing that is quartz and blue wool back there and back there. And then the ships that go along with that. Got the, the, uh, not helipads, what are they called? Airship pads. Here, and then the one over at the geothermal. But then that area over there. It doesn't seem to fit. At all. Like, all of the blocks are completely different to anything else in like this entire map basically the only thing that I, I'd say you could say is the same would be the gold blocks because we found gold but it's very definitely different and like there used to be that box of parts over where that mining location was, whatever that was, where they were processing the ores, I guess, is what they were doing. Which seems very, like, I don't know. It's just strange. It doesn't seem to fit. Like, even that witch's hut seems to fit with everything we know of the area, because it's... She was attacked by these people, I assume. The book describes uh, being attacked by the king's knights or something like that. So I don't, I don't really know. First, first that wither skeleton skull, and then that whole area is just like weird and and out of place it feels like so I wonder hmm let's see we have three more boxes right to, to find one is gonna be in the castle almost certainly one is probably gonna be in with the ships I would assume and then I guess there's going to be one in the Red Maze area. I guess. That that does seem to add up. But that that Red Maze area just seems so out of place with the rest of the map that I can't help but feel like it's a connecting area to somewhere else like somewhere bigger, you know? Uh, I don't know, I guess we'll just have to find out, but that's... It seems very odd. But, whatever the case may be, that is going to do it for this episode. Next episode, um, going to read Ollie's last book, I don't know if maybe I no I I feel like I feel like that's just going to be a hey I was here and now I'm gone and everything's fine sort of book. I can't imagine she would have gone any further. So we probably aren't going to be getting any information about that red maze without going into 
that red maze. Which, um, hmm, that's actually probably worth it, but, but the thing with this, I just had a thought, because it's uh, unenchanted, if we get another one, we can combine them and get more out of it, so maybe we'll hold on to that for a little while. At least until this is further down and it's more necessary, if we don't get another one. Oh, I should have left that back at the windshield. Okay, well, whatever. But yeah, uh, that, that's going to do it. Next episode, I feel like we go and check out the ships more. Give them a poke. Uh, see if there's anything back in that glacier uh, and or... Anything of note in the actual ships themselves? This is intriguing. But we haven't seen anything to indicate Enderman. But, but like, this, this, between this and that red maze area, I find it really, like, kind of confusing as to which way we should go, because if we got a super duper, like, enchanted, powerful sword, that'd be great. But if we get it at the very last area of the map, you know, that's kind of, well, whoop de do. So I feel like it's the sort of thing that we're meant to find sooner rather than later, and it might be in that red maze area, if that makes sense. So maybe after the ships will go that way, I guess. But, other than that, I don't really know. So, I think, think, I will say, thank you for watching. Take care. And farewell.